hey y'all so i'm gonna be blurry because the camera wants to focus in on all of these but for the last 12 days we've been talking about all of eric Jerome dickey's books and today we're gonna wrap it up keep watching to find out which book we're talking about today hey y'all it's kyla denanyo and you're watching kyla's reading day so today we are talking about the last Eric Jerome Dickey book that was released right after he passed away. And I say that because I am crossing my fingers and my toes that he has some other manuscripts that haven't been released, maybe that are still being edited and we might still get some more works from him. So today we are discussing the last book that was released. It was actually released in April 2021 and it's called The Son of Suleiman. The author of the book is Eric Jerome Dickey. The genre of the book is fiction and the theme of the book is literature or african-american literature so one of the most important things in the book to me absolute most important uh, so one of the most important quotes in the book is where they say it's not what they say to you in the room it's what they say when you're out of the room so that quote is indicative of every single person every single character in the book so you have professor pi suleiman he is the son of mr suleiman and so from the first chapter you find out that he has a father who is fairly famous but he doesn't necessarily want to claim him so you're like okay what's that story gonna be little did he know his father had read the books that he written his father left all of this stuff for him like his father actually cared for him even though he had never met him Another reason that quote is so important is because when Pi is there dealing with his father's estate and how to wrap up things, the attorney tells Pi all of these stories about his late father. And so again, we're seeing stories of people talking when you're out of the room being really important, right? Pi is hearing these stories and he's like, my dad didn't do that. My dad was a ham. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Pi had no idea because from his perspective, growing up with his mother and his other siblings, Pi was like, I don't rock with this dude. Like this dude is a loser to me. So the third and last reason why that quote is so indicative is because the relationship that Pi has with Gemma Buckingham. You're like, okay, wow, she rocks with him. They're feeling each other. This is great. Gemma says some really, really foul things. People can lie to you in your face. People can smile and chuckle and do all of this. When they're not in your face, what they're saying, that's the stuff that matters. And that actually mattered in the relationship between Pai Suleiman and Gemma Buckingham as well. So would I reread the book, The Son of Suleiman? Of course. I had a really good time reading it this time. And I love Eric Drum Dickey. He is one of my favorite, favorite authors. And I'm here to tell you, this whole experience just reminded me why I continue to read his books over and over and over again. Because I had alerts set in my phone every three months to see when he was traveling and when he was on a book tour so I could go and meet him. And so it really was a big loss to me when I found that out. He passed in January 2021 and then The Son of Suleiman was released in April 2021. So a huge loss to me, but I hope you enjoyed learning something new. If you've never picked up one of his books, please pick them up. You know, um, I've said it before, but it can't hurt to say it again. My husband says his books are sexy time books. If a book includes sex, it doesn't make it a sexy book. <laughs> If a show includes someone kissing, it's not automatically a romantic show, so. But please, if you are looking for something to read, and I know I'm gonna go blurry here with all these books, consider picking up one of the books written by Eric Jerome Dickey. If you're reading something from the 90s, it's like a time capsule of what was happening back then. If you're reading one of his newer books, you get to see how his writing style has changed. And of course, I reviewed all five books that were in the Gideon series. If you wanna read about assassins, contract killers, any of that good stuff, pick it up because he truly does cover the gambit and the full spectrum of people, of their emotions, and of Black Americans. So thank you for hanging out with me for Vlogmas 2022 and Merry Christmas.